As a property expert, Simon Bray is the man who knows what kind of spaces South Africans are looking for. And he's one of our esteemed judges of the design challenge. Judge Simon Bray is a Durban-based surfer with a passion for online marketing. A very good thing considering he's the CEO of Private Property, a massive online showcase for sales and rentals across South Africa. Simon, Durban has some amazing weather. You're permanently in amazing weather in your office. Very clever. What's hot in the South African real estate currently? South African real estate's actually gone through a bit of a slow period. Over the last 10 years, uh, sales have been slow. Certainly, a release of new developments has been slow. But in the last three or four years, we've seen a great acceleration of markets outside of traditional city boundaries. So last year's winter home, we were in Stain City, uh, in Four Ways area, Dane Fern. That is really exploding. I mean, you've got developments uh, coming out of the ground wherever you look. So that's a growth market that's really, really hot right now. Centurion, just outside of Pretoria, same story. Uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of estates uh, coming out, uh, a lot of apartment blocks and complexes. And um, Schlanger, you know, our hometown where we've got our offices, also a great growth market, a lot of opportunity. Uh, and so that's what's driving property in South Africa right now. Josh Gloke, last year's grand prize winner, immediately went into renting out his space. Is it a good time to be renting or purchasing? The truth is most of the millionaires in the world have been created in property. So what Josh is doing is exactly the right idea hang on to that property asset, put a tenant into it, get a great rental, uh, and make that asset work for you over time. I would certainly suggest that people get into uh, buying property in South Africa, renting it out. Uh, those type of buy-to-let investments are always good, and our property market is, is really growing, both on the capital side and particularly on the rental yield side. We're seeing a lot of growth, so it's a good time to invest. What role does design play in the marketability of the space? You know, design, decor, the personality and character that a home has really is what sells it to someone when they walk in. Interestingly, last year's apartments, uh, all the design apartments, those were the first to sell when Stain City was opened up for sale. So that's just proof of how much decor design can drive a property purchase decision. Uh, so we're going to see that this year, I'm sure. What interior design styles are popping right now in South Africa? You know, South Africa is slowly but surely modernizing its idea of property. So the idea of this really big home on a really big piece of land is slowly dying. People are looking for lock up and go lifestyle. They're looking for clean contemporary spaces, uh, easy to maintain uh, and energy efficient. So there's definitely a trend towards uh, smaller open plan designs that suit modern living. You've got a tough job this year. You're a judge. What are you looking for in our contestants? It's a really interesting show, you know. We've got a number of weeks to go through. We've got a number of different design challenges. Uh, the contestants are going to be pushed to come up with new and unique ideas every week. Uh, but at the same time, I think what's important from marketability of a home is that the entire space hangs together. When someone comes in, they don't want to sense that uh, one room is disconnected from the other. They want to sense that it's part of the same overall design concept, the same vision. So my tip to the contestants would be start with a plan, stick to that plan and make sure that the overall design, the overall flow of the house really is one beautiful space. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.